<laughs> Hi guys! Before we jump into the video, I just have a very quick announcement that the plant-based bundle is back and it is better than ever. The plant-based bundle is a collection of over 150 different ebooks, guides, and courses from many different creators like myself and you get this for only $50 for the entire bundle, okay? We are talking almost $4,000 worth of plant-based ebooks and guides and courses for only $50, so that is a 99% discount, okay? This is such a great deal, you guys. If you're interested in even like two of the ebooks out of this bundle, it is worth getting the bundle. So my weight loss friendly recipes ebook, No More Cabbage Soup, is included in the bundle and that is sold on my website for $39.99. So for an extra $10, you get literally over 150 different ebooks as well. So it is such a good deal and there's so many awesome creators in this bundle. We have Edgy Veg, we got Plentiful Kiki, High Carb Hannah, Madeline Olivia, Simna Nutrition, and so, so much more. So if you guys are interested in this bundle, grab it now because this is a limited time offer. It expires July 10th. So the link is below. You can get all the details and you can see what sort of ebooks are included. There are so, so many plant-based recipes. There are workout guides, workout tips, fitness guides. There's business tips. I mean, there's so much info and value in this bundle, you guys. So check it out. The link is down below for you to get your bundle. And again, it expires July 10th. So don't miss out. All right. Thanks for listening. Now back to the video. Hi guys, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another recipe video. Today's video, I want to make some tofu wings. We're gonna make vegan wings out of tofu because we don't eat meat around here. So we're gonna do tofu wings. I made these last week and they were very delicious and you can make these in the oven or the air fryer and you can make them either buffalo style or you could do like barbecue style. Today we're gonna do buffalo and I'll show you how easy it is to just make it into barbecue style. And yeah, so the recipe will be uh, linked in a blog post down below. So make sure you check out that if you want to get all the measurements and stuff and Let's get started. All right, you guys, so the first thing we're gonna need, of course, extra firm tofu. Now, one option you have is to actually freeze your tofu and thaw it out and then squeeze out the excess water. I did freeze mine a little bit, but not enough, and I did squeeze out a bit of water, but if you want that kind of meatier texture, then I do recommend freezing it if you have a chance. But you don't have to freeze it. Um, it will just change up the texture just a little bit. If you freeze it, it'll make it more meaty. If you want it to be slightly more meaty in consistency, then I would recommend freezing it, um, but you don't have to. Another option is you can actually rip up the tofu. I did that last week into just kind of like uneven, whatever, fun little pieces. So it's kind of like boneless wings. But today I thought it would be fun to cut it up into kind of like sticks. I don't know, okay? So we're just gonna cut it up. So you can do whatever you want, you guys, okay? You can shape your tofu wings however way you want. So I'm just gonna cut mine into sort of rectangles like so. So another option that I think would be really good, I'm not gonna do it today. When you freeze your tofu and then thaw it out and squeeze out the water, that actually creates like air pockets. So you can actually marinate it much more easier. So if you want more flavor in your tofu, you could actually freeze it, thaw it out, squeeze out the excess water, and then you could actually soak it maybe in like a veggie broth or like a, like a vegan chicken broth or something to make it kind of taste even more chickeny. That's an option for you. Um, I'm not gonna do that today, but that's a suggestion for you, okay? So I have the tofu pieces, yay! Now we can make the batter. So we're gonna have three stations, my friends, okay? First station is going to be the dry mixture. So what we're gonna do is mix together flour, cornstarch, then we have a big mixture of spices here. We have some smoked paprika. You could also just use regular paprika, but we love a little smoked paprika. We have some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder here. So we're gonna add that in to our dry mixture. And then let's just whisk it just to mix it well. So that's our dry mixture. And then we're also gonna make a wet batter. So for the wet batter, we have more flour, Buffalo sauce. Now, if you're doing barbecue, this is where you want to use barbecue sauce instead. But we're doing buffalo today. So we're using vegan buffalo sauce. You can just use like Frank's hot sauce. And then we have some non-dairy milk, unsweetened. I mean, it doesn't really matter. And we have some apple cider vinegar. Let's mix this up. All right, guys. So now we have three stations. We have the dry mixture, the wet batter, and then we have some breadcrumbs. Woohoo! Woo! Okay, so what we're gonna do is dip our tofu in the dry mixture and then dip it in the wet mixture and then you wanna just kind of like shake it off and then dip it in the breadcrumbs. So let's just do it, okay? So I like to just 
Be lazy and add a bunch of tofu at the same time. I might just add the entire thing in the bowl. Just get it all nice and coated in the dry mixture. And then we dip it in the batter, okay? And then you just wanna kinda shake off any excess, if, if there is excess, and then you want to take it to the breadcrumbs and then just kind of let it coat. I kind of just give it a little, little squeeze. And there you go, that's one. Let's make some more. So again, we want to dip our tofu into the dry mixture. Then we want to throw it into that wet batter. I'm just gonna do a few pieces at the same time. And then you're just going to coat it in that wet batter and then just shake it off and then throw it on that the breadcrumbs. That's what we want to do. This is very similar to my buffalo chicken sandwich recipe, vegan buffalo chicken sandwich. Slightly different, but similar concept. So check that out if you guys are interested in making that. It's so good. And again, we're just going to, I always like to have extra breadcrumbs around just in case I need more because sometimes just more sticks, you know? And again, you want to kind of give it a little, tiny little squeeze just to get those breadcrumbs to stick. And then there you go. That's how you coat it. Now let me do the rest and then I'll see you guys very shortly. All right guys, so here are the coated tofu wings ready to be put into the air fryer or the oven. So I'm gonna use an air fryer this time. I'm actually going to just add a tiny bit of oil on each one just to, you don't have to, um, but you know, it probably won't stick at all, but I'm just gonna add a little bit. And you can also, again, put it in the oven. It's up to you, whatever you have. You can also even just pan fry it if you're kind of like extra lazy. <laughs> um, so usually when I air fry something versus put it in the oven, uh, first of all, if you're putting it in the oven, just cover your uh, baking sheet with parchment paper so that it doesn't stick. And also I would usually do like a slightly higher temperature in the oven and slightly longer and of course flip it halfway. So air fryers are generally a little bit faster and stronger, so you don't have to do as high of temperature and it doesn't have to be as long, generally speaking. So that's how I usually kind of change up the device that I'm using, if you will, the appliance. Uh, but if you don't have an air fryer yet, what are you doing? Get yourself an air fryer. They are amazing. I use my air fryer as everything. So there you go. So now we have the tofu wings ready to go in to the air fryer. So I'm gonna do 390 degrees for 10 minutes. I'm gonna flip them halfway and we're gonna see what they look like. Basically what we want is just like a nice crispy on the outside sort of situation. And then, um, yeah, okay, let's put it in the air fryer. out of the oven. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in a bowl here. Now they're nice and crispy and of course we're gonna put some sauce on there. So, or I mean, if you wanna just keep it crispy and just dip it in the sauce, you can do that too. But we're gonna smother it in the sauce. So now we're just gonna put it into a nice bowl. Look at that, look at that guys. It's gonna be so good, so good. So I did about 12 minutes total in the air fryer. So maybe the oven I would say, you know, about 15 minutes maybe. And again, just flip them halfway. So as you can see here, they look beautiful. Now let's add in the buffalo sauce. Here we go. We're just gonna drizzle it. Oop, it happened a lot faster than I thought. So add as much as you want, my friends. This is your recipe. You do whatever you want. I don't know why it's, come on. Toss. I need a bigger bowl apparently, and I probably need more sauce. Let's see. I'm just using Frank's Red Hot Sauce. They actually have a buffalo version and it's actually vegan. Or you can just use the standard uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. So I like mine quite saucy, so you know, I'm just gonna like, you know, I just don't wanna break them. Okay, there we go. How do I toss it without breaking it? Like the true Asian that I am, I'm just gonna use chopsticks to just flip this over. Ugh, oh, well apparently I can't do that either. There you go, wait, let's show you what it looks like. Ooh, look at that, look at that. So those are the wings. I'm just going to toss them all and then we're gonna plate it and then we're gonna try it. All 
right, you guys, so here are the tofu wings, buffalo style. Now, if you wanna make these into barbecue, just switch the buffalo sauce for barbecue sauce. That's all you have to do. And, oh my gosh, don't they look epic? They look so good. And we're gonna have to eat one because we just do. Okay, it's for science. Okay, so let's take a piece. Ooh. So much flavor. So good. Mm. Guys, try these at home. They are delicious. Mm. And the barbecue ones are so good as well. So if you don't like spicy, you can do the barbecue ones. But if you like buffalo, you can do these. Mm. It is so good. Highly, highly recommend trying these out. All right, you guys, so that is how you make tofu wings. Super easy, super simple, and so, so much fun. You can make these for a party, for your children, for yourself, whatever you want. The recipe will be in a blog post linked down below, so make sure you check that out for all of the measurements and written instructions. If you guys do make these and if you enjoy it, make sure you give my blog post a five-star review because those help me a lot. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you try these? Have you tried these? What did you guys think? Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more vegan recipes. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do not miss out on the bundle. Once again, the plant-based bundle is only $50 and you get over 150 different plant-based courses, eBooks, and guides. The link is down below. The offer expires July 10th, so don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!